Welcome to Programming Your Recom Weather Radio Model 1630. Follow along with me as I walk you through how to set up your new radio. First, a disclaimer. While the Recom 1630 is the model we purchase, this should not be considered an endorsement by Washington Emergency Management Division. There are many great NOAA weather radio receivers on the market, and they all offer a variety of features and settings. This video is for educational purposes only. Step 1. Plug in the adapter to a reliable power outlet. Step 2. Add fresh AA batteries. These batteries act as backup power so your radio will keep working if your power goes out, so keep spares nearby in case of an emergency. Your radio will drain fully charged batteries in about 24 hours when not plugged into a power source. Step 3. Identify your buttons. You'll use the Enter button to select submenu items or settings and to confirm your selections. By holding down the Program or Prog button, you can access the program menu and can also press it to return to a previous menu. The Radio button turns on and off the radio feature for when you want to listen to the 24-7 NOAA Weather Radio service. The Stop button turns off the alarm during a test or actual alert. You'll use the plus and minus volume buttons to scroll through the options for a setting you want to edit. Lastly, you'll use the left and right arrow review buttons to move between items on the screen. Step 4. Program the date and time. First, press and hold the Probe button to pull up the menu. Then press Enter to select Menu Page P1. Use the plus and minus buttons to select the month. Your selection will start flashing. Once selected, use the right arrow button to move to the day. Repeat steps three and four for the day, year, hour, and minute. Once done, press enter to save your settings. Feel free to pause this video if you need extra time. Step 5. Program the county code. Do you need to look up your six-digit county code first? Head to weather.gov slash nwr and click County Listing under the Coverage drop-down menu to find your state. Or you can call 1-888-697-7262. Now press and hold Prog, then use the right arrow button to scroll to menu page P3. Press Enter to select the page. Press the right arrow button to scroll to the single county option and press Enter to select it. Use the plus and minus buttons to enter the digits of your county code and the right arrow button to navigate to the next digit in the sequence. Once done, press Enter to save your settings. Step 6. Select the radio channel. You will want to select the radio channel that comes in most clearly. If you need to, reposition your radio's antenna or move it closer to a window. First, press and hold the Probe button. Use the right arrow button to scroll to Menu Page P2 and press Enter to select the page. Use the right arrow button to scroll through the radio channels and determine which one is most clear. Press Enter to save your selection. Step 7. Set the weekly test audio alarm. Setting the weekly test alarm is important so you know your radio is operating correctly and is able to receive National Weather Service test messages and alerts. First, press and hold the Probe button. Use the right arrow button to scroll to menu page P6 and press Enter twice to select the page. Press the right arrow button until Alert Enable is flashing. Then press Enter to confirm the selection.
You can also use this menu page to turn off alerts you don't want to receive in audio form. Your instruction manual has an alert and test message table, which shows all of the alerts and test messages your radio receives and which ones you can silence. First, press and hold the Probe button. Use the right arrow button to scroll to menu page P6 and press Enter to select the page. Use the right arrow button to scroll through the available alerts and test messages. There's a lot of them. Press Enter to select the one you want to edit. Press the right arrow button until Alert Disable is flashing to turn off the audio feature for that alert. Then press Enter to confirm the selection. You can then keep scrolling through to change the settings for other alerts and test messages, or press the Probe button to leave the menu. Don't forget to check the instruction manual for more settings. You can program other aspects of your radio, such as the volume for audio alerts, and add additional county codes. You're done! Great job! Continue your preparedness journey by signing up for local alerts at mil.wa.gov alerts, or by learning more at mil.wa.gov preparedness.